Now you know how to write a set in roster form. But do you think you can write all the sets in roster form? Well, consider this. Can you understand the pattern in this set? 5, 10, 15. What are these? These are multiples of 5. Can you write two more elements after this? Yes, elements of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 and so on. So you can identify this set. Now what about this set? Can you identify what it wants to denote? 101, 103 and so on till 499. If you observe, these are odd numbers between 100 and 500. 101, 103 is an odd number till 499. 499 is also an odd number. So we can say that set A is the set of odd numbers between 100 and 500. How easy was that? But now if I say set A can also be a set of prime numbers between 100 and 500. Check. 101 is a prime number. 103 is also a prime number. 499 is also a prime number. Confused? So such kind of patterns can confuse us. It can be a set of odd numbers or a set of prime numbers between 100 and 500. So in this type of cases, it is better to write the definition of the set or specify the condition of membership. That is, specify the condition that a number has to have to become the element of this set. Here we use the set builder form or description set where we list the property or properties satisfied by the elements of the set. But instead of writing all the elements directly in a set, we write the definition of the set. Here, the set D of prime numbers greater than 100. So we can take any variable, say x. You can take any variable which you want, but Generally, we use the letter x to denote the variable. So how will we write it? First, we will take the variable x, which will denote any member of the set. After that, followed by the property that each element of the set denotes. So set d of prime numbers greater than 100 can be written as all x, that is the variable, Such that, that means what property it denotes? X is a prime number. What is X here? Any variable, that is any member of the set. X is a prime number. This is its property. And all the elements in the set have this property. And X is greater than 100. See, there are two properties given in the question. Set D of prime numbers. So first property that x has is being the prime number. Second property is greater than 100. So we will write both the properties in the answer. So all x that is the variable such that x is prime number. This is property 1 and x is greater than 100. This is property 2. So it will be written as this where we will write x and we use the colon for such that. Then we write the property x is a prime number. We have two properties. So we will give a comma instead of and. And then we write the second property. x is greater than 100. Now look at this. The set C of colors of rainbow. You know how to write it in roster form? C is violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. How will we write in the set builder form? You know, in the set builder form, we don't write the elements. We write the definition of the set. So how will we write it? Give the capital letter C is equal to, even here, we use the curly brackets. So curly brackets are used in both roster form and set builder form. Give curly brackets. How will we start? Give the variable x, put a colon, this denotes such that, so we will pronounce it as x such that, now write the property, 
with what is the property of the set here? Now each element is a color of the rainbow. So X re represents each element. So X is a color of the rainbow. Now, if I had asked you what is the color of the rainbow, you would have given me this answer. So this acts as a question of the roster form. Take another example. The set V of vowels of English alphabet. You know what are the vowels of English alphabet? So we have written it in roster form for you. V is A, E, I, O, N, U. Now we'll write it in set builder form. Try writing it yourself. V is equal to open curly brackets. We'll write with the variable x. So x, give the colon for such that. Now, what is x? x is a vowel of English alphabet. So we will write x is a vowel of English alphabet. And close the curly bracket. Now this will complete our answer for set builder form. Now R is a set of the elements 2, 3, 5, 7 and 11. How will you write it in set builder form? First of all, understand the pattern. What does the pattern wants to denote? It's 2, 3, 5, 7 and 11. Are these odd numbers? No, 9 is missing. So these are prime numbers. So how will we denote it in set builder form? Write R is equal to open curly brackets. How will we write it? X, this is the variable that we use to denote. Such that, the colon re represents such that. Now what property does this have? Prime numbers. So we will write x is a prime number. Now is my answer complete? No. You can see that the set ends on 11. It does not go further. It has no ellipsis. That means the set ends on 11. So we have to give some property which states that it is still 11. So what we can write? X is less than 12. So we will use a comma to write the property 2. And we will write X such that X is a prime number which is the property 1. And one more property what we have? It is X is less than 12. And close the curly bracket. So we have two properties in this set builder form. Answer this yourself. The set A of odd numbers less than 10. We have described the set for you here. The roster form is A, which is 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. It is till 9 because it is less than 10. How will you write it in set builder form? Try writing. So A is equal to, use the variable X such that, well, what property does X have? It is an odd number. So x is an odd number. We have another property as well. It is less than 10. So give a comma and write x is less than 10. So this is our answer. x is an odd number. x is less than 10. Now answer this. S is equal to Tuesday and Thursday. How will you write it in set builder form? So what property these two have? These two are the names of days of the week. But are all the days of the week listed here? No. Only Tuesday and Thursday are listed here. So they must have some property. Guess what is the property here? We can see that both of these days belong with the letter T. So how will you write it? 
S is equal to X such that X is a day of the week. So this is property 1. Now what is property 2? Whose name starts with the letter T. So this will denote that we have to write only those number of days whose name starts with 